In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. How well do you know your friends? Choose wisely. Life and death decisions will be in their hands. Who do you think is coolest under pressure? Swipe left and right to shuffle through the cards. Swipe up on the one you want to play. One name came out on top. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook color. What's the play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. You must have a majority vote to progress the game. Play a takeover card to lock out your friends and seize control of a choice. You'll start with just one card. Earn more by completing searches and quick time events. For this choice, you can use your takeover for free. Why don't you give it a go? Just tap the takeover button during a choice to take control. I'm thinking we walk right through the front door. Catch him off guard. Got it. Keep the lights on. Please!
use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Whoever hits it first wins a takeover. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's stick together. Hands up, hands up now! To shoot, everyone must move their pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Hands behind your head, no sudden moves. Shoot. Don't shoot! Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me out of here. Hey. Hey, hey. Easy. Easy now. Let's just take this nice and slow. Okay. This decision is down to the friend you chose as coolest under pressure. It's not worth it. It's over. the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the third precinct arrested their primary suspect Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Jonathan Finn. You have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Who do you think is the most trusting?
tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. I am Ray Weaver, and this is The Crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, The Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like... They can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? To him. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Morning, everyone. Caught another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I gotta tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marnie the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. Detective Calvary? I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. Ignore him. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? I'd be doing a lot better if Calvary would take a short walk off a tall building. Hey, just promise me you won't do anything. Don't give I.A. anything to work with. At least while the inquiry is still open. Gee, thanks, Mom. Detective Marnie, can we have a word in my office? Look, Marnie, I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective... I'm sorry, sir. Nick, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but you do. You got me? Yes, of course. Mm, I want to believe that. But I know the trap is set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. Knowing you sent someone to death row, I don't want you to be distracted. Knowing Jonathan Finn's about to make his exit is what gets me up in the morning, sir. Better than a cup of coffee. Got your message. Heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It can be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to 
get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? If he's actually got something to say, then I'm ready to hear it. Call you after? Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello. Your attorney says you have something you want to tell me. Sure, but you ain't gonna believe me. No one does. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. If I gotta go out, I ain't going out a liar. Then tell me the truth. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. Do you believe Adam Jones is the one responsible for these murders? Oh, I don't believe it. I know it. Who is he? Adam was my best friend at the orphanage. And he killed those people. I'm listening. But you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I, well, we've seen some shit together. Makes you close. Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I wrap myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. Not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? <laughs> no idea. How can we find him? Got to start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. This decision is down to the friend you voted as most trusting. You sure you want to trust me with that? They say the pen is mightier than the sword. Cute. Um... My memory ain't what it used to be. I think I'd have to get back out there, get my feet on the ground, pick up the scent. Sorry, Finn. No dice. Never even in the game, was I? I can't take it! I'm not supposed to be here! It's not supposed to go like this! Finn! Stop it! This is insane. Adam told me this wouldn't happen. He told me I'd be out by now. He promised! Finn, 
Listen to me. I will look into this, Adam Jones, what you're saying, but even if it's true, it might be a day late and a dollar short. I'm sorry. What do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana. It's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Yeah, you're right. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Who is the most persuasive in an argument? Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? The timing is certainly convenient, but I think he's telling the truth. Or at least some version of it. So far it adds up. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there, and we need time to find it. <laughs> Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Only the friend you voted as most persuasive can make this choice.
help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not gonna believe this. He actually went for it? Surprise the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Outrageous. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage, for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. I'm sorry to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that I am sure. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I think, I think there's something there. Judge thinks so too. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No, I'd remember something like that. I didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so, when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas, he hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. Who would you describe as the bravest person amongst you? break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. 
Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. This is 609 on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway, no perp. Gonna make an entry to the trailer. 609 acknowledged, caution advised. Search for the clues shown at the top of the screen. When you spot them, use your pointer to highlight them before the timer runs out. You'll win a takeover for every clue found. These clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. Okay, okay, okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I... I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh, God. Please, help me. Please. What's happening? Only the friend you chose as the bravest can make this choice. Shit. Shit. God 
damn it! No! Oh God! No! No! <laughs> It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Finn must have seen you coming. Cut out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. It was very brave of you to go in there alone. I was, uh, just doing my job. And, um, uh, how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip, uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall in your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. Okay, okay, let's ease up on the pissing contest, all right? Let's at least try to pretend to work together. The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Is there anything else we can help you with? All right, I've heard enough. Thank you, everyone, for hearing me out. And thank you for eating up our entire afternoon with this shit. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. What are you doing tonight? I... what? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. Which one of your friends keeps calm when emotions are running high? A rat trap? Huh. Yep. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. I had no idea. We managed to keep it out of the press. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, the undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the officer who got the call took it in the chest. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. Was there anything more on the victim? I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas, just a local gin hound. Finn called it a dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I... God damn it. 
This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? I'm sorry, I... It's just, this was all ancient history. And staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up, I, I don't know, it's... It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them? LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. But they couldn't get anything to stick. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged the light fixture with C4. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Third target. Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen, and the real target was the third precinct? Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems of chemical variety. They were using? Yeah, and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. You couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. Calvary's just got to stick up his ass. Why is that? Well, for starters, I'm the one who nabbed the trapper, not him. He can't stand it. Okay, he's had some time to get over that. Yeah, you'd think. But he keeps messing with me. How so? Just because I'm good at my job, I have a target on my back. I'm sure that's not true. Yeah, easy for you to say. My dad's not around to fight my battles for me. No one has it easy in this town, okay? This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here?
Oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? We got a problem. What? It was a cop. What? What happened? I was just trying to put that together. The call came in and there was a body. The responders showed that body was rigged. The trap was done. They're still sorting through the mess. Becky. Oh my God. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. From when we can piece together, it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, God. Brought her back here where, uh, you know. Track her down? Only got a partial description. 20s, brunette. Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall and didn't hit one thing. Only blood here is his. And Officer Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. <gasps> Fuck. It's a whole clip. If someone cut his throat from behind, then why would he fire this way? And if they did it from the front, why would he miss? Oh God, it's really him. Thing? <sighs> Nothing useful. Becky, I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Where were you last night? Only the friend who keeps calm can make this choice. the evening with Felicity Graves. Going over files? All night? Yeah? So? Shit. What? You need to be very, very careful how you handle this. Why? You gotta make sure you account for all your whereabouts. Everyone knows how you and Calvary felt about each other. Tom. You have to be careful. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself. I'm not accusing you. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. Be smart. This isn't happening. I wish it wasn't. I hated that fucker, but I would never do something like this. I believe you. You shouldn't have to believe me. Oh my god. 
That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on.